The IVEX Exhibit Hall is open for business. A look inside the largest ever exhibit hall at this conference. And celebrating vets, techs, and nurses for all their contributions to the field. That's coming up on IVEX TV. IVEX 23 is officially in full swing with the exhibit hall open for business. I'm Crystal Sparks here with all of the latest at IVEX TV from the Gaylord Rockies here in sunny Colorado. Whether it's a stop at Blue Pearl Park, seeing some furry friends at the Paw Playground, or catching up with a familiar face, there's plenty going on at the exhibit floor this year. So just here, seeing everybody here, everyone's energy, meeting new people, communicating with everybody, and kind of coming together, it's really great to have that relationship with everyone for sure. The exposure, the amount of people, uh, the people that you get to meet, uh, uh, professionals all over uh, the world come to this show and, and we're just excited to be a part of that. In this digital age of communication, electronic correspondence is everywhere. From emails to text messages and everything in between, it can be challenging to manage all the incoming communication in an effective way without affecting our work-life balance. This session discussed communication overload and gave some tips and tricks about how to prevent and combat it. We work predominantly in emergency and critical care where communication is key and we talked a lot about information overload and I think it could happen very easily in the ER setting where things are you know, chaotic, there's cases coming in the door every second of every day. So I think communication is incredibly important both for building the culture and maintaining the culture of a practice but also for making sure that we deliver the best care to our patients. Plenty of networking opportunities throughout the week at IVEX 2023. The Practice Leadership Luncheon brought together attendees for some collaboration and friendly competition to solve shared problems in unique ways. Pain evaluation is key for adequate pain management. A session led by the University of Montreal's Beatrice Montero helped attendees increase their confidence in evaluating the pain levels of cats and dogs with clinically applicable tools and pain skills. Discussing with veterinarians and technicians how we can better evaluate pain in animals and what are the things that we can do to help them uh, to treat pain and to provide them with better welfare. Along with education sessions throughout the conference, attendees have opportunities for more hands-on learning in workshops and labs. One of those includes the simulation lab that teaches resuscitation strategies for patients in shock. Attendees implemented skills learned in the pre-lab course, such as shock categories, management strategies, and differentials diagnoses. Everyone is busy, staffing is tough, and turnover is high. Yet, technicians remain highly underutilized. This lecture covered many innovative ways to ensure technicians are highly leveraged in the practice and presented numerous ways to reward techs with more responsibility, autonomy, and authority. I really hope that they can see what they're doing for technicians now and understand that not only do we all want them to be utilized a lot more, it actually helps burnout by expanding their roles and giving them actual autonomy. That is one treatment for this burnout thing. We can't fix the demand. People have pets, they've got emergencies. Uh, but unfortunately, what we can do is say to a nurse or a technician, this is your job today. This is your job tomorrow, that actually helps them be more engaged and get closer to their why. IVEX 2023 is not just a time to learn and grow, but a time to celebrate. The 2023 IVEX Awards ceremony honored vets, techs, and nurses for their research and contributions to improving and expanding the field of emergency and critical veterinary care. A jam-packed Saturday ahead at IVEX, including the keynote presentation from Professor Temple Grandin. And be sure to join us as we crown a champion in the CPR Battle Finals. And don't forget to visit these booths and get a stamp to participate in this year's Passport to Prizes. A completed passport gives you an entry for some fun prizes like gift cards, accessories, and even registration to IVEX 2024. You can find the full list of booths on the IVEX website. Yes, this is about the education, and of course it's about the networking, but are you making friends? I know I am. This 
is Lavender. Hey, girl. And we have so much more in store for you here this week. For now, for IVEX TV, I'm Crystal Sparks. What? What? Lavender says before we go, she wants to show you the sights and sounds of this year's welcome reception. <laughs> 